So in the UK at the moment, we have about 10 million people aged 65 and over. And over the next 20 years, this is going to increase to, to 17 million. And by 2047, there'll actually be more older people than children, which is the first time in human history that that has happened. Now, why is this an issue? Well, it's an issue because older people are, are the major users of health and social care services. Older people are also less able to continue to participate in the labour market and are in need of income support. So I guess in a UK context, the two biggest challenges are actually around health and social care and around pensions. It's absolutely really exciting to host the, the annual conference for the British Society of Gerontology. The Centre of Research on Ageing at Southampton is about nine years old now and this is the first time that we've hosted this conference at Southampton bringing together all of the UK's leading researchers in the field of ageing. It's been really great um, to raise the profile of Southampton but for also for us to be learning about the latest cutting edge research from uh, researchers and, and practitioners right across the UK. So really exciting. One of the kind of key things in Southampton is we actually work with partners. So a lot of our research is actually carried out in partnership with, with other key stakeholders. So a lot of the work around health is actually done with um, Southampton University Hospital Trust and with the, the local social services in Hampshire. And internationally, we work with HelpAge International. So that makes uh, our research actually get straight to the policymakers and practitioners. At Southampton University, we have um, a university strategic research group on ageing and lifelong well-being, which brings together researchers right across the university from a whole range of different disciplines. And we've got research projects ranging all the way through to thinking about the ageing eye and working with older people with macular degeneration, right through to projects looking at, at pension provision amongst ethnic minorities in the UK, through to work which is actually looking in developing country contexts, so work looking at ageing in the, the slums of Nairobi, through to um, looking at changing family structures in China. So lots going on. We currently have um, the only distance learning MSc in gerontology in the UK. And one of the key things around it is that we actually have 15 Commonwealth scholarships. So uh, we're making an impact on ageing, not only here in the UK, but also across uh, developing countries, particularly Sub-Saharan Africa and India um, in the Commonwealth. One of our students who came with a Commonwealth scholarship, she was the head of child services in Lesotho, came and studied with us for a year, and now she's the head of older people's services in Lesotho. It's actually set them up for the first time. Other of our students have gone on to work at the Office for National Statistics, and I think in a moment you'll be talking to Marcus, who is one of our students who's actually currently the head of research at Age UK.